we made it. Yes. You guys hear her? She said, yes. Feed me. Good morning. I choose to believe she's saying good morning. These guys are just like, hurry up and bring the food. Bring the food. I love her talking. Willow's doing it now too. Good morning, guys. Good morning from Penny. Who's just been sleeping. Oh. Such see. She usually pins her head, pins her ears, backs right up. She's doing a little better, not as strong. I know for some people it would be like good for their horse to do that, but I know that she does that because she's been taught to do that in a super harsh way. Oh, look at the pee on you. Pee everywhere. Dirt everywhere. Good morning, Penny. Say good morning. She's like, leave me alone with my breakfast. One thing I do with Penny and all of our horses is that I don't rush her with her breakfast. Like, you know how you go down to the barn and you're waiting for them to eat and you just want them to finish and you grab their bowl and you take it away? Penny, I'm gonna brush you, okay? I don't do that. I let her lick her bowl till it's clean, until she walks away from it. And I know a lot of people think that that might make her think that she's in charge of me or she's the boss of me. But what I feel is that I'm giving her the joy that she wants from her food. She likes her food. She likes eating her food. She doesn't want me to rip it away from her. I feel like bonding with your horse is so many things. And one of them is giving them moments of happiness just for them. Right, Penny? And she's like a little old lady. Like, imagine taking somebody's food away from them before they're ready to be done with it. The wrath of Penny would come upon you. Right? She's got shavings in her eye. But she does love this. She loves me to come down and give her a brush while she's eating her breakfast. <laughs> she's listening. She's like, what's happening? So today I'm hoping to do a little bit of work with Penny. Right, Pen? You want to do some work? Because she seems excited to do some work. Get out. You, my friend, are not welcome in the horse stalls. So the thing about this puppy is that she's hungry and she hasn't had breakfast yet and nothing can happen in life until she's had her breakfast. That's what she's anxious about. Uh, the thing about this puppy is that she doesn't understand that horses are dangerous. She runs between their legs, jumps up on them. Like, we have to watch her <laughs> so much. I know, Daisy, you're starving. You're a hungry girl, but sometimes we have to feed other animals first. What? What she says? Other animals? I have to go first. Man, she's cute. Man, you're cute. I could just video you forever. I could. She's such a pretty color. Can you guys tell by the light, in the light, that she is a liver and white and not a black and white? She says, I can't move, mama. I'm starving. Hey. She wants to go in there because there's horse poop. I know. I know. I know, baby. Who do you see? Lexi. Lexi? Where are you, Lexi? Coming down? Hey? Ruby's like, yes, come down! Come down so I can chase you. So because it takes Penny so long to lick her bowl, that means that all of our horses have to wait. <laughs> They're like, come on already, let me out. And Penny's still licking her bowl clean, licking every drop. She loves her grain. Oh, no, she's not. She's done. All right, let's do it. Whoa. Good girl. Walk on. Whoa. Oh, girl, you can stand here even though there's hay out there. We can stand here for a full minute and she doesn't even try and walk on. She just listens to me. Okay, walk on. Okay. And then she does this beautiful turn, waits for me to close the door, waits for me to take off her halter, puts her head down for me, and then stands here and then stands here and waits for a treat and then stands here until I shush her away. Oh, no, then she goes. Oh, she's thinking about going. I don't have any more for you, I'm sorry. No, I'm done. 
you know, the fact that she comes close to me with her head looking for a treat is such a huge, <laughs> amazing thing to me because she never, ever has been in a horse to come close to people like this and to ask for things. Look at that crooked, crooked stripe. Look at your crooked stripe. Fine, she says, you have no food for me left. And then off she goes. This is our morning routine, you guys. This is their order. Willow, who wants to be best friends with Penny. Gracie, who just wants to be accepted. And Willow and, and Willow and Gracie are actually kind of friends. Even though you wouldn't know it, they are connected. It's funny how typically you would train your horse not to go in your space and not to come near you, but then with some horses that have clearly been abused, and she has clearly been abused, and her old owner told me that she's clearly been abused. You could tell by her mannerism. Um, but sometimes you're teaching your horses that it's safe to come up to you. Right, we are headed out. Just Gabby and I, it's been a while since just Gabby and I have been hanging out. We're going to the barn to ride our boys. Usually, well, not to ride all of them, but Usually Gabby goes for a trail ride on Sundays, but it is raining and yuck. And my keys want to wear a mask. But we are headed there right now um, to ride. Anyways, we're gonna ride inside. Gabby, everybody wants to know, why do you only ride Chino in lessons? Because I need to focus on training him up for Trillium. Yeah, they have a long way and to go. And storm's really slow. So right. I can't focus on myself. Yeah, so that's the other thing, is that um, Gabby's in like a competitive group, like the girls that she rides with, and even Sophie, it's such a higher level that Storm absolutely hates that kind of stuff. So she wants to be kind to Storm and not do that. But are you going to be riding him in the next lesson? Probably. She can't decide. Can you not decide? No, she I am deciding. Yeah, she wants to ride him because he's definitely easier on her because we're doing a lot of uh, stirrupless stuff which is why Sophie's struggling so badly right now. Like we took a girl who was doing really, really, really well. We threw her in with a bunch of much older riders at a higher level. And then we took away her stirrups. So she's struggling right now. A lot of guys are, a lot of you guys are commenting on it and noticing it. And it is one of the things you guys do well. She's the car. Yeah, she is working on it and she's gonna get there. And um, I feel really proud of how brave she is because she is in with a group of much bigger riders with much bigger horses and with no stirrups for the first time in her entire life. And she's trying and she's not complaining and she's doing the best that she can. Anyway, we're gonna go and we'll see you guys at the barn. You're riding first. Yeah. All right, which one of these? Uh, apparently these are full. This is Hers so is not. Hers is not. Not in there, that's our butte. I need to take some of those snacks home, treats home with me. I need to buy some treats to keep at home, but I keep forgetting, so I fill my pocket. Every time I get here, we also have a bag of carrots there, and we have water and some pops. Hi! This is the cutest dog of life. Also, I forgot to bring Finn's salt lick in with me last time, so I'm going to hang that up right now. Ta-da! All right, it is Chino for the win today. He's the first horse to ride. He's like begging to be clipped. He's like, clip me, clip me. You want to come and clip him this week? Mm -hmm. You want to clip him this week? I'd rather do it when he gets a thicker coat. He's going to grow a thicker coat for me after we shave. It is pouring rain out now. There are horses. Standing in the rain. Finn standing in the poo pile. Hello, handsome man. Hello. Ready for a little ride and storm too? Gabby's putting her spurs back on. She says she's too lazy. No, I'm just joking. She says her horse is lazy. Are you lazy? Then I get my legs moving, then my legs move naturally. Oh. If I start squeezing too much. Gabby and I are arguing because right, when she got on Chino, he walked off. And if that was me and my horse, she'd be getting me in trouble. 
And she says it's because my horse just gallops off with me, but that's not true. My horse sits calm and quiet and doesn't move until I ask her to. Kind of like what he's doing right now. I love when you bring your blanket in here, your horse blanket to keep your horse warm because then it keeps me warm. You can do it. You can do it, Chino. He's scared of my blanket. I <laughs> Come on, you can hack it. It's just a blanket. It's just a blanket. And a coat. <laughs> he doesn't care that there's a coat flying through the air, just that I'm wearing an orange blanket. Good boy. It's just a blanket. Yeah, I have a treat. Good boy. See, it's just a blanket. It's orange, like a pumpkin. It's pink, it's peach, it's coral. Good boy. You get to what? He's been good today, she says. So Gabby already has Chino back out. She's got Storm in now and she's getting ready to ride again. It's a busy, busy ride day. This is the first time we've ridden in a long time where we've had lots of other people riding at the same time. We're busy. I love a busy Sunday. All right, I'm gonna leave Gabby to do her business. I'm gonna wait. Are you bringing that orange blanket back out again? Yeah. All right, stormy weather. Oh, look, he's got a cut on his neck. Yeah. Is it bad? It's really old. Oh, it's old? Oh, yeah. It's very old. It's all healed up. It's uh, raining. He's like, wow, look at all my friends in here. This is the first time he's gonna get to ride with Tex. That looks bad, though. No, just the scabs coming off. All right, this is three, three, this jump that Gabby just did. This standard is five feet. Yeah, they've jumped. Storm did good. Yeah. Storm did good. The other standard went up to four foot, so it looked really high. All right, let's go home, because this girl is frozen. Look, Finn, look. We got you a new salt lick. He's like, yeah, it's there, I see it. I'll have my hay. Thanks anyways. What about his grain? Is it in there? No, I don't think so. Good night, boys. See you tomorrow. We'll be back. Chino likes his window open. Sometimes when the barn's really busy, it's definitely harder for me to vlog very much, but we tucked our horses in for the night. I love that. We're gonna go home and have supper. Hopefully Sam's been cooking this whole day and making something yummy for us. He hasn't. He hasn't? Let's see. If supper is ready, well, it is ready. There's gravy, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf. Did you eat, Sophie? And there's even chocolate cake, you guys. You got soaked? Oh my god! I'm Yo. scared that tree's gonna fall down. Is that I driving me? Yeah. Did you wear my freaking... shoes? Yeah. Don't touch them again. I took a freaking video. You can see it so clear on the video. But we cannot see the road as we were driving because suddenly it started raining harder and then boom, sudden burst of wind and then it was like the whole road was a sea. So you couldn't see the grass or the road. Trying to get my boots or on. in front of you. I know and the dogs are going to miss going down because it is way too wet you guys. It's literally a ginormous flood. Power just went out you guys. We have to, kind of, we have to try and put the horses in in the pitch black in the middle of a flood. Oh, I'm cold. Lucky we put our horses in before we left. All of a sudden, we're just sitting there, and Sophie said, Sam took Gabby to the store, and Sophie and I are just sitting there, and suddenly she says, I'm gonna check the horses. And I'm like, why? And she said, it's a, it's a tornado outside. It actually feels like a tornado. Like suddenly got really dark, and the trees are moving like crazy. Power just went back on. Staring at the house as Sam was backing up, and all the power just went back on. They're probably happy. All right, holy cow. There's something about a good storm that makes you feel cozy and warm. Whoo! It's freezing and our barn is flooding. Got all the windows closed. Whoo! I am cold. Let's see if my girl comes to me. There's a willow. How are you feeling? I fed the girls in the arena today because I was worried about them getting wet. Oh my goodness. Do you notice what's happening here? 
So Penny is allowing Willow to be in the front, but she's not allowing Gracie to come. See, there's a, there's a, there's a friendship here forming. Clearly, Penny did not stay inside the entire day. She's a little bit wet. She's just a little bit wet. Yeah, she's pretty wet, actually. You're so wet! This blanket is a bit too big for her. I need to get her like a 76 or one that's cut differently because it's so big in her chest. See? She just did the exact same thing what she does when I bring the girth on. She snaps. Like she just does a big snap. Here. I know. I don't know why you're so worked up. Why are you so worked up? It's okay. You're okay. She's wet. So one thing Penny does do is she does shiver easily. Like she gets cold easily. Even though she's got a great coat. That's pretty thick. Pretty thick. Don't worry, I won't let you get cold. I won't let you stay cold. That's the only blanket that I have right now for her. Sam says it's never been this windy, ever, in Canada before. Never been this windy in this direction. It wasn't like this last year. So we have to do operation on the door because it just keeps blowing open. And we noticed that even the people who built this barn, when they put this lock on, it's not aligned either. Neither of the things are aligned. So uh, today Brandon told me that he's not giving me lessons unless I bring Penny to the barn, because he can't. Like, we don't have a spot that's open to do lessons at our place. He said, he actually, he, he basically said that he's excited to give me lessons, but I have to bring Penny there. And I can't bring Penny there. And then I realized that I am so happy doing with Penny what I'm doing right now and I realize my limitations that it's almost winter and that we need to drive in someplace and we're not there yet and then I realize that the only reason I feel pressured to take a lesson right this second is because of so much pressure from YouTube and then I realized, what the heck, Laura? Do what you want to do with your horse and enjoy your horse the way you want to enjoy it. I have plans to take lessons on Penny. I have plans to get lots of help for Penny. Not a good time unless I can trailer her in. And it's just not gonna happen right now. And then now I just feel content. I feel happy. I feel like I've been giving back my horse that I don't have to stress anymore about getting uh, somebody to give us a lesson. So I just want you guys to know that I'm just gonna be enjoying her until the spring. As much as I want here at home, I'm going to be playing with her in the arena. I'm going to be riding her every chance I get, just like I have been doing. And I'm going to enjoy her. What comes next is going to be what comes next. And we're all going to get to see it together at the same time as it happens. Don't you know that you're beautiful?